my name is Sam Coulson and today we are checking out this guitar. Alright, this is the Pete Thorne Signature Sir and the serial number on this one is 67548 available through my friends at Guitar Works and we are going to run it through this amp. Okay, this is the Yamaha THR32 and just for the sake of continuity I'm always using this with a flat EQ. So let's check out some tones guys.
specs on this guitar now let's see if we can run through this really quick mahogany body maple top mahogany neck rosewood board very reminiscent of a les paul uh, and, and then we've got all the playability of the strat so you know not a new cross pollination but definitely a really good one uh, we've got locking tuners on here we've got a nut that's been cut really well uh, not a single tuning stability problem for me today, it's been really easy. Uh, the bridge here pivots on two posts, it's a, it's a Wilkinson trim and it actually locks. So it's almost like having a double locking system, you put the string in and you lock it with an Allen key. So you could get the bar on here and you could treat it like a Floyd and you'd be pretty pleased with the results. Uh, the frets are just incredible. I think for me that might be my favourite thing about this guitar. The frets are huge and they're narrow, the intonation is really good. They're stainless steel, which I kind of tread lightly around because I've had some guitars with stainless steel frets where I break strings all the time. But these have been polished so well and there's such little friction when I'm doing these vibratos and bending strings. And, and you know, a guitar like this really helps you with that, all the string bending. It's, it's a dream, it's a dream. So we've got thorn buckers in here, which are kind of a low output PAF type thing. And you know, you combine that with a five way switch and a push pull, you've got a million different tones. And I tried to really show that in the video. Uh, we've got a master volume, master tone, and having, having sort of a loose, Easy to turn down volume knob is really important to me. And if you watch some videos of Pete Thorne, you'll notice when he stops playing, he turns the volume off. That is, you know, playing live 101. If, if you stop playing, that's your hands-free kit, right? So, really great pots on here. Uh, the neck joint over here, I think this is cool because it's not overly designed. You know, I'm, I'm kind of happy with a strap bolt-on neck and, and you know, if, if, you, if you listen to Eric Johnson and Ingve Malmsteen and Stevie Ray, it never hindered any of those guys. So it's nice to have something that hasn't been overly engineered. It's a little bit kind of shallower on the one end, so you can get your hand up there a little bit easier. But it pleases me that, that he hasn't gone to town with some crazy neck joint. Uh, the feel of the neck is incredible. It's got kind of a satin finish and of course Pete Bin you know, hired gun kind of a guy playing live. He, he understands about the uh, sweaty lacquer problem that can, can sometimes occur with, uh, with some guitars. So this feels really good and uh, yeah, amazing. Super, super happy playing this guitar. Yeah, I think it's been done really well. So there you go guys, let's check out some more tones.